Hey guys, what's up? It's Captain SNES here, and today I'm going to give you a video on why I think you should buy the original PSP in 2016. That includes the PSP 1000, 2000, and 3000. Now to start off this video, I want to say that there are so many games to the system. Currently, I have Ghost Recon 2, God of War, Ghosts of Sparta, and Daxter for my system, and I am planning on getting Local Roco, Mega Man Powered Up, and Wipeout Pure. And if you look on Wikipedia, you can find a list that goes on and on and on and on and on of games for the PSP. There are so many of them, I promise you that there is something that you will like for the system. And along with the games for the system, there's also a ton of movies for the system. Along with the games, if you look on Wikipedia, you can find a ton of movies for the system too. And the ones I currently have, well, the one I currently have, is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, but that was because it was at my local game store at the time, and it, it was something to get, I guess, I, so I got it. Movies I'm looking to get going forward are definitely 8 Mile and National Treasures 2. And probably the biggest selling point for the system itself right now is currently the emulators. You can download emulators for N64, SNES, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo. There is so many systems you can download for this, except I have to say, the ones I currently just listed I have, and the N64 one doesn't work all that great, but you can still play N64 games on there. Any N64 game you can think of, any SNES game you can think of, any Nintendo game you can think of, you can play it on the system. As long as it's from Nintendo 64 and down, you can play it on the system. As long as there's an emulator out there for it, you can play it. Which is probably the one reason why I got this system. It is so easy to get emulators on this system, it's kind of ridiculous. Which, once I get my new computer, which is going to be a, a Windows computer, I will show you guys how to do that, if you want to. But until then, I guess you're just going to have to try to look up tutorials online, which there are a bunch of them. But the way I did it, I did not find that many tutorials for, or I think I only found one. So, that's the emulators. One thing the PSP really has the PS Vita beaten out on is the memory cards. The memory cards are so cheap to come by now. I was looking up memory cards for my friend and I mean, you don't need that much storage for this thing, so, which makes it all the better. So I have a one gigabyte in mind, which is good for the emulators and stuff, but if you're gonna download games, that's not really sufficient. Like I said, they go for really cheap. Like you can find bigger ones on the bigger side for about 10 bucks online, if that. I think I found one for eight and it was somewhere around two gigabytes or four gigabytes, something like that. So yeah, they're really easy to come by, so suck it, PS Vita. Suck it, PS Vita. 